tell me I can't do something and I will prove you wrong. Hey my treasures, it's Serena and welcome back to my channel for another video. This is a special video because it is my birthday and I figured I would do a tag just like I did the last time I posted for my birthday. So I am recording with my iPhone microphone because I do want to test something out after this. Um, putting the audio through noise reduction software to see if that helps the audio or hurts it at all. Um, we'll see. Otherwise, I think it's gonna be fine because it's pretty, it's pretty quiet in here. I've decided to do the YouTuber interview tag, which I found on Jessica Kareem's channel. You guys should absolutely check her out. She has really, really good content. I have my braille display here, which I'm going to use to read off the questions because, yeah, I'm not going to remember them all. The YouTuber interview tag. One, how did it feel to make your first video? I was terrified. It was terrifying. It was really awkward to sit on my couch and talk to a camera. I was not only afraid that people were going to see it, I was really embarrassed to send it to my editor for editing. I was using an editor at that time before I chose not to due to financial constraints. But yeah, I was, I was petrified. Two, did you show anyone your first video? Yes, I did. I posted it to social media and I sent it to a couple friends, family. You know, I knew I was going to be a YouTuber. I knew I wanted to be. I had been speaking about it on my blog for a little while. So yeah, people did see it. Three, do your friends and family know about your YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, they do. My sister does, my mother does, and my friends do. My sister, um, yeah, I think she watches. My mother doesn't really understand what YouTube is. My friends, they, they all watch and are subscribed. Four, are any of your friends and family subscribed to your channel? Uh, yep, like I just said, I have a bunch of friends who are subscribed. I love each and every one of you. I'm not sure if my sister subscribed. I honestly, this is like, so embarrassing to admit, but I have no idea how to view my subscribers or if you can view who is actually subscribed to you. Um, so I just go by numbers, um, but if she subscribed, she was probably one of the first. Five, did anyone think you were crazy for being a YouTuber? Um, no. Everyone was really supportive of me, actually. Um, they thought it was fun. They knew it was going to be hard, but I, I didn't get anyone being like, that's, that's nuts, you can't do that. You know, my friends know better. <laughs> Tell me I can't do something and I will prove you wrong. Six, how and why did you choose your YouTube name? Well, my first name is Serena. I was adopted and my birth father's last name was Lind. I believe that would have been my name, Serena Lind. The Raylita part uh, was a very loose interpretation of my adoptive father's name and oh gosh in Spanish if you speak Spanish and I'm getting this completely wrong please let me know the term Ita means little one um, and so Relita was my very loose interpretation or very loose way of saying Ray's little one so that my new name would still have a little bit of my old name in it because my father passed away when I was 13 and I have his surname currently and I wanted to change my name and I still wanted him to be a part of it. I was actually in the legal process of changing my name where finances got in the way and then life got in the way. So that is still sort of up in the air and kind of half done, but not yet legally finished. So I still go by my dad's surname, which is Carol. Um, but yeah, I chose Serena Relita Lind because I would rather like it to be my new name. And it just sort of stuck after a while. Seven, what have you gained from being a YouTuber? I have gained loads of more confidence than I ever thought I would have. 
I gained confidence from challenges in my life and being a YouTuber was certainly a challenge. Even my break taught me a lot when I wasn't posting content and I came back here a couple weeks ago and I, I'm basically starting from scratch because I'm not sure how many of my original subscribers are actually watching. I love each and every one of you and that you're still here and I certainly hope you're watching but I, I can't count on that. I can't guarantee that people have waited for a whole year and are still getting notified when I put up new content. So I have to start over and I'm learning every day. Every time I post a video, I learn something. I know there are so many more things that I have to do and I want to do. Channel art, getting proper thumbnails created. There is so much to learn and so much I have to grow at, but it's so much fun as well. So I've gained so much confidence. I've gained the ability to say, okay, this, you know, I have to get better at this. But I've also gained the ability to say, okay, you need to stop overthinking this and trying to be so perfect at this and just kind of post the video. Like you're not gonna get it studio quality perfect, but that's okay because you are just one person. You're not an entire team and you don't have the means that an entire team would have to make your video look like something that just came out of a studio. Like I'm just one person. My finances are limited when it comes to software. My abilities are limited when it comes to software because I edit my own videos, but I'm proud of what I'm able to accomplish and the content that I'm able to put out there for you guys. So I've certainly learned that and I've also just had so many new ideas come to me that I wouldn't have really thought about if I didn't think, hey, this would be a really, really cool YouTube video. I would love to talk about this. So I feel like my chair has shifted and that I might not either be properly centered or looking at the camera straight or that the light that is perched on top of my camera might be making me look awful. So <laughs> if that's the case, please forgive me. I had an Ira agent look at it before I started filming and we shifted the light a little bit because it was giving me these awful bags under my eyes. And I'm like, guys, like I don't need to look any older than I already am, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, if those bags are back, <laughs> oops, that's just not something I'm going to be able to see. Eight, are you interested in doing giveaways? Oh, yes, I am absolutely interested in doing giveaways. I actually have a giveaway planned for when we hit 500 subscribers. So if anyone is interested in getting a gift card, and that's all I'm saying, you know, share. Right now, my following is just not that big. It's not really big enough for that and I, I don't think there's enough interest right now for something like that. But I would absolutely love to and I love planning ahead because it's fun. It's just fun to think of, you know, the day when I'll get to that point. Nine, do you allow subscribers to send you gifts? I would if anyone wanted to, but again, my following is not that big and I've never had, nobody's ever really offered to do that before. Um, but yeah, if that ever becomes a thing, then absolutely, I would be so grateful and so touched by anyone that chose to do that. I mean, that's, that is just beyond the pale, incredible and beautiful and kind-hearted. Like, it's amazing that, that YouTubers have subscribers that do that for them. But my following, again, is just, we're not, we're not quite there yet. There's a lot of growth yet to be had. 10. How do you choose your topics? Oh wow, okay. So, let's see. I get inspiration from other YouTube creators. Um, I get inspiration from discussions with friends, from personal life experiences, from questions I get when I'm out and about. And I also just get out of the blue thoughts like, oh, wouldn't that be an amazing YouTube video? There are a lot of minds that usually go into one video because it's not always just me. I can be having a completely normal conversation with one of my good friends and she'll say something and I'll be like, oh my gosh, you just inspired a YouTube video. 11, would you consider collaborating with others to make content? Ah, sorry, I'm, I'm beating up my um, real swing. It's fighting back. But yes, I actually have collaborated with someone in the past, Live Accessible, and we did a collaboration called Would You Rather, 
and it was a lot of fun. I have on my ideas list tons of ideas. These are ideas that I really want to collaborate with somebody on. Um, I'm not sure who yet, but there are so many YouTubers out there that I would love to collaborate with. And if anyone is interested in collaborating, just please hit me up. I am always all for it. 12. Other than makeup and fashion, what do you watch on YouTube? Um, I don't really watch a lot of makeup and fashion unless it's makeup and fashion tips by other blind individuals and that's not me being biased against any other content creators who focus on beauty and fashion, but I am blind so learning those tips from other blind individuals is just more, it's more related to what I can do and how I can do it and it's just easier because there's a lot less visual content involved when somebody is explaining exactly what it is they're doing or offering tips and tri uh, tips and tricks, not tips and trips. I have no idea what my mind is doing there. But I also watch content related to families. I watch interviews with my favorite actors like, oh gosh, Viggo Mortensen, Alan Rickman even, um, the cast of Call the Midwife goofing around videos with Maisie Williams and Sophie Turner, you know, all the celebrities. 13. Have you ever uploaded the wrong video? No, I have not, but I have uploaded a video before with half my face cut off. <laughs> I can't remember which one it was, but um, I did, and I was like so proud of it because it did come out really well, and then my sister was like, yeah, so... Sis, you're missing half your face in that video. Like, it was cut off right above the bridge of my nose, and it was just awful. So, I had to take that down and refilm it properly with my whole face in the frame, not just this, this talking mouth. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I haven't yet uploaded the wrong video. I'm sure it's gonna happen at some point. 14. Which do you prefer, filming alone or filming with other people in the room? I want to say filming alone right now just because it's really the only thing I'm used to. I can film easily with Rosie because she doesn't judge me. I think when it comes to having somebody else film me, there's a lot of nervousness there because I am afraid that they're going to judge and I am afraid that they're going to be like, okay, well this is stupid, why are you filming this? This is not important. I'm putting myself out there when I create content and... Talking to you guys like this is easy, but if somebody was here just sitting there watching me and listening to me, I'd probably be just a lot more nervous. 15. Are there any YouTubers that just irk you? If so, what about them irks you? Uh, oh, I'm not a big fan of this question. I will say that Molly Burke can irk me sometimes, only because she is very famous and she is very successful and those aren't the parts about her that irk me but she's also very dependent on sighted people for many many things that most other blind people can do independently and as the face of the blind community even if she didn't ask to be i think there is a responsibility to portray blind individuals as more independent than she does. I think her lifestyle absolutely demands more assistance, but I also think there are some things she could do on her own. It's just easier to have somebody do them for her or help her with them. Asking for help is never wrong. But I think there is a balance, and I don't think that balance is met all the time. Having said that, she is the person that inspired me to be a YouTuber, and I do still watch the content that I feel relates more to other blind people. She has every right to her success and what she built on her own. There are just little things about the way she portrays blindness that I personally don't agree with. And I'm just gonna leave it there because this isn't about bashing her. We're all different. 16, 
What is some general advice you would give someone trying to start a YouTube channel? Don't overthink the editing. And I can't believe I'm the one saying this because my friends will tell you that I do that very thing all the time. I always overthink the editing. But don't overthink the editing. Don't overthink your first filming experience. Just, just don't overthink it or you'll never do it. Don't put off filming due to nerves. Be nervous. It's okay to be nervous in your first video. I was terrified. I was literally shaking. Just go for it and do it. 17. Have you thought about transitioning from YouTubing to your own website? No. I like being a YouTuber. I think there's a lot of room to grow here and I love this platform. I don't really have any desire to shift away from it. 18. What are some opportunities you have gotten because of YouTube? I've gotten to collaborate with others, you know, live accessible. I will link that video down below. And I've also been able to reach people with my content. I've had people tell me, you know, I wouldn't have thought of that if you hadn't posted that video or thank you for teaching me something. And I think those are amazing opportunities. 19. When you first started, how did you get the word out that you were making videos? I was a blogger before I was a YouTuber, not for very long. I had a fairly good following and I put the word out there. I told my friends, I put the word out on social media, so it, it did definitely get out there. 20. Did you just upload and hope for the best or did you connect with other YouTubers? I just uploaded and hoped for the best. At the time I started YouTubing, I didn't really know any other YouTubers. Even now, I don't know many other YouTubers. I follow many, but I haven't really connected with many. I'm still working on building those connections. So even now, I sort of just upload and hope for the best. I do promote on social media. And then I just pray, basically, <laughs> that my content reaches people and that the people that do stumble upon it find value in it. Thank you, my treasures, for watching my special birthday video. Please, if you found any value in this or had any fun with it, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not going to tag anyone specifically in this. If you want to do this tag, please go ahead and do it. I will put the questions in the description box below along with a few other things. Thank you again so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Please ring that notification bell. Follow me on my other platforms. I post a lot of content on Instagram that you won't see here on YouTube. And I will see you on Wednesday with my next video. Love you. Bye.